Hi, I'm Jonathan, an educator here at the River Museum, and we're going to talk a little bit about beavers and how they were used as a unit of trade along the Mississippi during um, early settlement between Native Americans and Europeans. Beaver pelts were really valued um, around this time of early European settlement. They were seen as a unit of currency, a way that we could judge other trade and something that was highly valued because of the felt hat industry in Europe. These black felt hats needed this inner layer of the beaver skin in order to make that felt surface. So a chemical process would get all of this outer fur off and just get to the felt underneath. But even outside of that, this beaver fur is something that's gonna be really water resistant too. So all around these beavers were something that were so valued that they became almost extinct here in Iowa. So we're gonna take a look at how these beaver pelts were valued and what they could get you if you were trading them. Two beaver pelts be worth an ax, three beaver pelts worth a small tin kettle. Again, something that Native Americans weren't able to make in their own lives but that tin kettle was something that you could move around with water um, and you could also put it over a fire, making it really valuable to have and use in daily life. Four beaver pelts could get you a three-point blanket. So again, not something that could be easily created or woven. The Mississippi really acted as this highway for trade. So we've talked a little bit about beavers and their importance for trade um, here in the Midwest. Now we're gonna take a look at how they are also engineers of their habitat. I'm here in Riverworks Discovery taking a look at our beaver lodge. One thing that I think is really amazing about beavers is their ability to fundamentally change a landscape. Only beavers and people can do that. So if you're thinking of who can create a lake in the middle of a forest, that's a beaver. They're able to take mud, sticks, branches, even some human-made objects to create um, these dams and lodges where they're able to pool water around them. So if you've got a river, right? If a beaver creates a dam around that, they're able to increase their habitat size. That's the benefit for them. They're creating more safe space for other beavers and their young and creating a lot of places where trees will eventually start to die. They can gnaw those trees down and get at all of that green vegetation and the plants that are living underwater in that ecosystem. Part of beavers and what gives them the skills and strength they need to survive are their amazing teeth. Beaver have incredibly strong teeth that never stop growing. They have an iron enamel on the front of their teeth that help make them so strong with an incredibly strong um, kind of jaw and muscle around them. If you could think about an animal, right, that's relatively small but able to take down a tree, that's what you've got to think of with a beaver. And if you're ever out hiking, there's this very distinctive pattern of what a tree that a beaver has affected looks like. So beavers are these amazing ecosystem engineers, right? When you're out and about exploring the outdoors, take a look and see if you can find evidence of beaver lodges, um, kind of structures created by them, or even these trees. This is something that we definitely see here in our Iowa, Wisconsin, Illinois landscape, the effects of beavers in our ecosystem.